So now we're going to jump back right into what we were talking about in terms of the reproduction. Um, right now we have this moment at which a lot of students get confused. Right now we have plasmogamy, where we have two nuclei from two different fungi that are not fused. Only the cells themselves are fused. Thus we have this N plus N dikaryotic heterokaryon state. Hetero means different, and karyon is referring to nuclei, the nuclei. So the nuclei are different right now, as stated below here. So what does this mean? How does this ever result in sexual reproduction? We're going to continue the final steps right over here on this side. There are about two more, two or three more steps to make sure that we understand. Um, I'm going to do one, two, three, four, and now we're on step five. I'll just make a line here so that we separate from this and uh, we'll do step five. What is step five? Now in step five, the mycelium will grow via mitosis, okay? Mycelium grows via mitosis. Now what was the mycelium? Mycelium was that extension. When does the mycelium grow? The mycelium only grows if we have a moist environment with food, if we have the germination of a spore. If that spore germinates and it's a nice environment, a mycelium, an extension, a hyphae extension will grow and will be successful. How is it growing right now? Keep in mind right now it's growing via mitosis. This is a continuous reproduction without any sort of genetic change. It's a constant uh, replication copying process thing to remember right now is that we still have no fusion of nuclei still no fusion still no fusion uh, of nuclei so the nuclei are still within that n plus n state okay so I'll write that down as n plus n still so now why are we not fusing these nuclei what is the big holdup? Why aren't we combining genetic information? Why are we just leaving it in this weird plasmogamy n plus n state? Why don't we just go to 2n? Well, that's because in step 6, we will do that. We will undergo karyogamy. Okay? We will undergo karyogamy in step 6. This is when we finally have the nuclei fuse. Okay, The nuclei will fuse. And if the nuclei do fuse, we end up with a 2N zygote. This gives us a 2N zygote all the way in step 6. And then finally in step 7, what do we have? We have meiosis. Okay, Step 7 is when we have meiosis. Remember, meiosis is to make smaller. So we're going to take this 2N zygote, which uh, has taken a long time to get to. We're going to have this genetically different now, uh, this genetically actually combined genetically, uh, combined genetically nuclei of two different fungi combined together to give us this 2N state. Meiosis is going to happen on this, and this will eventually, meiosis will eventually take this 2N zygote, okay, will eventually make haploid spores. It will take this 2N zygote and turn it into a haploid spore. We'll make haploid spores and this would essentially mean that they are uh, sexually produced. That's exactly what it means because they are undergoing my meiosis. So lots of steps happened here. It's quite confusing, I understand. What I especially uh, ask you to do is to go to the playlist section of the website and look at the Biology by Me video series. Um, there's a very good video by an individual who goes through these steps in a circular pattern, much better than I can possibly do based off of the notes that I have. And it goes through this circular pattern and shows why these moments are necessary. Why it's so weird in terms of not fusing technically the nuclei together all the way until step six of karyogamy. This is an important part of sexual reproduction in uh, the, the uh, fungi because of the fact that they undergo this weird, awkward type of sexual reproduction that is a bit inefficient. We're going to see that this is going to improve when we get to the plant level. It's going to get better when plants start to do sexual reproduction. I understand it's a little bit overwhelming, but let's just quickly go over what happened. Hyphae from two mycelium produce pheromone. So we have pheromone A and pheromone B. Good. They are of different mating types. Now pheromone A will bind to pheromone B's receptor. That's good. Now we have genetic variation. In step three, the hyphae will extend toward the source of the pheromones. It will essentially extend from itself to the spore that's landed from fungi A, whatever it may be, 
spore B, the other fungi, will extend towards spore A, and then once it's extended towards spore A, it will fuse with spore A, but it will not fuse the nuclei, okay? The nuclei will stay separate from each other, just the plasma membranes will fuse together. When the plasma membranes fuse together, we end up with this cell that sort of looks like this. It sort of looks like a combined version of two cells with two separate nuclei right now, where we have this nuclei here and this nuclei here. Okay, they, the nuclei are still separate from each other. Imagine this as nuclei A and this as nuclei B. But what's going to happen eventually is that the mycelium will grow from this. This will divide by mitosis over and over and over and over again. More and more of these heterocaryons will develop, but they will not fuse until step six. In step six, this will turn from this structure into a much more classic, large, fused nuclei structure like this. This will be the fusion of A nuclei and B nuclei. Karyogamy will happen. This is right now in an N plus N state, right? N A, haploid A, haploid B. This right now is in a 2N state. Let me rewrite that as a 2N state right here, 2N. So now once we have that, this will undergo meiosis. Once this undergoes meiosis, it will essentially produce a haploid spore. That will be a totally new haploid spore that is necessary to then go off to a new fungi and do this whole process over again. I suggest looking at the figure in your textbook that shows this, shows this very well. Uh, it does it for a specific, I'll refer to it in a later video, we'll do this for a specific type of fungi that does this type of uh, sexual reproduction. Hopefully this hasn't been too confusing. Again, go to the playlist section, watch the video by this guy, I think his channel is named Biology by Me, and he does a great job of explaining this fungi reproduction.